There's another one. Here's my favorite part about exposing Sully. Both Rieger and Hatchet Man both said that in order to be a real Michigan fan, you must hate MSU. I thought we little brother did not matter. Hmm. A lot of people just got exposed. <laughs> I love Rieger's dramatic voice. You just you don't have to hate MSU. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, if you do. If you like Michigan. I don't have to. You know, I'm I'm done with this. I'm not doing this all day. I don't have to <laughs> hate Mike, Michigan State. Mike, can I just ask you a quick have, question? Have a good show, guys. Mike, I'm out. Have a good I show. want to ask you a quick question. He left. He left. <laughs> he left. I really think he was upset. I think he left. Oh He's walking God. away. Did he quit? I think he quit. Oh What's going God. on here? I will say this. <laughs> Are I think you serious? Wait, hold on. I think something's up. I'll tell you some inside information. I walked out at the break, and I saw him talking to Jimmy Powers, I bo- our boss. I think there's a chance you that think he Powers was set this up. I think Powers oh. told him to walk out. Oh, uh, that's terrible. If if he he did. Did. Now, if that's organic, I'm in love with it. He can walk out. Dude, he, he did look pissed. Show goes he on. Was pissed, man. Show goes on regardless. Real. All right, just time out then. Hold on. All right, I say, do me a favor. I had a great question for him. Do me a favor. I'm going to get to the phones. Will you go and grab Evan? Because he ain't doing nothing at the web desk. There ain't nothing going on. I think Evan's already left. Uh, if he's gone, grab Scoby. If Scoby's not here, grab somebody else who can answer a phone and screen a few phone calls. You're on the board. <laughs> I gotta go Ship the continues on. Yeah, but what are we going to do? Sit here and float? Mike Sullivan just <laughs> left. He just drove off. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Brad, hang on. I'll address the Goodell thing in a second. <laughs> I think he quit. He <laughs> He just drove away in his car? I'm telling you, I think I think this was a conversation that him and our boss had. I think he said, go home. No, there's no way. There's no way Powers would do it because Jimmy doesn't let anybody leave early. I don't know. Hatchy, come on now. You're not screwing with me, right? Like, that's not He's anything. He's gone, man. No, no, but I'm saying you didn't talk to him about it. Oh, no, I, am, no, I have no, no idea. So you're su- surprised by this? Yeah, I'm shocked. Wow. You made your producer quit. <laughs> <laughs> this ticket tech says, "Well, you broke him, fellas. No more he, drop back. Yeah, dude, no more. He, yeah, his drop backs are so deep. He dropped back and his ass right out of the office. Dude, you are the devil people say you are. You made him quit. Do you know how tough it is to get a job at radio? I didn't make him. I didn't make him do anything. We exposed him. He <laughs> lived a lie. We simply unearthed it. Don't you kind of feel bad? No, because I still don't believe that that, that could possibly be real. <laughs> There's no way that could be real. Oh, my. I think he's headed to Ann Arbor right now. He probably is. Go put on some khakis, rub them all over his face. You think that's what it is? He He, just acted pissed to get off early. No, we broke him because we finally unearthed a true sensitivity to the team he loves. You know how hard it's got to be for him to come on the air and lie every day? People are very angry. At who? Everybody. (laughs) You want to hear some of these? Yeah. Sully is so unstable. I can always hear those crybaby undercurrents in him. Wah! Go green, Rick and Sterling Heights. Here's another one. He's taking it. Sullivan is gutless. He's a Michigan fan and wants to claim the aisle seat because he doesn't want to feel miserable when MSU has a better football team. Grow a spine. Go blue. FMSU. There's more. I'm amazed. I am absolutely amazed that that's all it took to break him was to expose his fandom. It went quick. I'm just saying. What else you got? For shame, Mike. (laughs) (laughs) There's another one. And he's gone. (laughs) I'm like, David was pointing out the window, and I'm like, yeah, right. And then I went, okay, it's got to be a joke. (sighs) But not. here's how I know it's not a joke. There's no way it's a joke because this guy never leaves his office. If he doesn't have to leave that office, he won't. You know we have no one in this building if Powers is screening calls. You did. Wow. Did, did you – can, can we get an official comment from the program director? No. All right, I'll tell you what. I, I'll talk to him during the break. David, David, there's no way this isn't a setup. Now, he's you didn't doing, tell me anything. He's doing the soft shoe over here. There is no way that that's real. If Sully bolted because we rode his ass a little bit about being a, 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 a U of M fan – then come on, this isn't the right business for him. I'll tell you what, he could be a good actor. He did sell it. If that's a, if it was not legit. Riggs, he melted down. He he, he did sell it. <laughs> he sold it good. All right, look, I got He's one. looking, expecting him to come back. Yeah. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'll believe it's real if he ain't back by 515.